Hello and good evening to one more episode of Python Moth. Um, I'm Cody, your host. Um, I haven't been streaming for quite a while now. Um, I've been, like always, working on my PhD. Um, I'm kind of feeling a little bit time drained currently, and also you then I hurt my back uh, during sports, and uh, it's just. It's never getting boring in my life. I, I once had a short period where it was boring and I was like, oh, this is so, oh man, this is so enjoying. But nonetheless, today um, I'm opening up a new series, um, which is uh, math stuff, you know, algorithm and math. Uh, because I recognize many people um, from time to time ask me how to solve this and that, and do you know this problem and how to compare this? And it all comes down to knowing math and algorithm. And you, you can really save your butt a lot many times or make a clean analysis um, in the office or whatever uh, just because you know how to do it properly. Now today I will be opening up with a technique which um, is very, very, very frequently used in data analytics but not in, um, or in engineering, it's moderate I would say, but most people have never heard of a PCA which is principal component analysis um, and it's kind of like it has to do with eigenvector decomposition so uh, it should be no trouble for any engineer so let's assume um, we have some data here um, it's just some some arbitrary data maybe you measure it I'm, I'm not sure where it's coming from it's magically so we have x1 and x2 here and when you do PCA on this data what it simply does is it computes uh, two vectors um, let's call them P1 and P2 and they are just aligned um, along the longest axis of scatter here and the cool thing is um, you know these two are not independent here like X1 is nothing else than two times X2 approximately I don't know oh let's let's make it more general uh, a times x2 plus b, you know, there's a lin linear stuff going on between uh, those two lovely ones. And um, what you get out is kind of like this p1 is just um, the formula, like the linear, co um, the linear, uh, um, let's, how, how am I calling this? I think alpha. So this is kind of like alpha uh, 1 x1 times uh, plus alpha 2 x2 so you get out um, how these two are kind of correlating um, or how they might be um, you know the how they commonly form a new um, a new uh, component um, so this is kind of like you see them as separate but they are not like along this dimension axis here they're the same it's just a, a combination of these two. So what you can do with this stuff? I mean, this is so looking weird, and who needs this anyway? Now in data analytics, it's so much used for pre-processing, because um, what you can do is um, when you have data X, you know, you can do a PCA. Um, let's say this is a matrix, and uh, in our case here, it's maybe an n by two matrix. And then we transform it with PCA um, into um, you know this 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 space here. And by the way, when you when you draw it in this this new P space, it would look like this here. And then you would just see a scatter like cloud here because um, it's centralized here. You know, there the first axis. This is P1. And this is P2. Um, now what you get out here is you get the new data, um, which is also this uh, an n by two matrix. Okay, so nothing nothing changed except for the values. But you what you can also get out of this eigenvalue decomposition is you get out a value. Um, let's make it red because it's important. You can also compute kind of a standard deviation along the first one here p1 and this is um, larger than along the second one so the scatter in the first direction here is higher than in the second direction and when 
what you can do is in order to make data more clean when you have many insignificant effects in your data you can go in here you can cancel this out or which just set it sets it to zero you can retransform the data and then you get um, much cleaner data and what is happening is that all of this data is projected onto this line here um, which in the end makes it much more clean um, for further data processing. So first of all, you can kill out um, noise, you can find out correlations in the data very fast, all at once. So this is a very useful technique, um, even though it doesn't look like it in the beginning. Okay. So how to compute it? Um, it's very, fairly straightforward now. Uh, first of all, you got to normalize the data matrix, um, which is nothing else uh, but x minus mu x and when you have this x n you simply go and create a, a covariance matrix yay bad writing and uh, what you do is you get this by doing x n um, transpose times x n and then when you have this one here you simply do um, this PCA or a P matrix um, are simply the, the, the eigenvectors, okay? I'm trying to spell it beautiful here. Uh, C O V. This is so ridiculously beautifully written. So this, <laughs> so this uh, transformation, uh, this p um, components, you get them as the eigenvectors of the covariance matrix, and this is just everything. It's not not really difficult at all. Um, and let me show this here just um, how to do this and uh, let's drop in here into um, Python Python yay and I could really I could X out these these uh, equations they're pretty pretty simple but um, thankfully there's always a package and you don't don't invent the wheel a second time um, I think it's it's not worth it. Um, here we go. We import PCA from sklearn um, when you write it in the correct way. Um, from oh yeah, so bad. Here we go. Um, love you, love you all. So um, we go in and we say um, okay. Uh, we wanna keep the components. Um, you don't wanna erase them. Yeah, and uh, this is the PCA object. Now we need the data. So, um, oh yeah, I need NumPy. Um, oh yeah, so here we go. We could just create 100 values between 0 and 1, um, which is our x. And then we go in and we create, um, I don't know, Let's add some 2 times x plus 2 plus some noise. Um, I, no, no, this is not going to work out. Uh, we're needing random dot normal and we want to create, I don't know, 100 here. Yeah, exactly. And here we go. We just um, plot it you know I can and uh, I really like doing what I can because you know I'm, I'm, I'm very happy about what I can so this is the data um, the same way like this data here uh, now the offset here there is an offset in the in the data here upwards and so on just nothing special and the data um, we need to do it in one matrix um, Please, please note this. Um, it won't work out uh, when you have these two. You need for the the functions. Um, you need it in a matrix, and we need it in the format which I showed you. Um, and most machine learning guys have it in the format. So we have 100 rows and then the two data columns. And now we can simply use PCA.fit data. Here we go, and it's already done. That's everything. And um, we can now um, access the data. There are a few, um, yeah, what, what you can watch. First of all, let's watch the variance, okay? So we 
we go in, we watch the explain variants, and as you can see, the first variance here um, is quite high. It's 0 0.4. I think it's divided by. Um, I'm not sure. Um, I um, I tried it previously by hand, and there was a factor of 100 or something in between by sample count. Um, but here we go. Um, this is the variance, and as you can see, the second one has a much lower variance than the first one. This is what I really mean is um, when you when you get out these eigenvalues of the covariance matrix, you can immediately see which are insignificant and which not, because um, it kind of keeps dropping. When you have 100, and usually you need like 20 um, components only, and then you can cut off by this variance value hard-coded. So this is the, the, the variance, but um, to be honest, it's it's quite boring um, here at this time. So let me just plot the eigenvalues. Um, we do a scatter plot of the data again, and then let's um, do a quiver. A quiver is just um, uh, the vectors, like the like vectors, arrows. I don't know how how to explain <laughs> arrows. <laughs> um, yeah, you know. Um, what errors are, hopefully. <laughs> uh, um, maybe I need to do something before. So, Eichweg, uh, Eichv, let's call it Eichv. Eichv, yay! Um, it sounds so ridiculously strange. So, components. We d I just want to have a shorter name. You know, it's just uh, annoying when you have to type so much. So, zero, zero. Um, zero zero because we will maybe needing it uh, later on again. So here we go. This is the first one. This is the f second one. I hope I'm plotting it the right way. And uh, here we go. And it is so ridiculously wrong oriented because I think I. That's a good thing, you know, that I'm the one seeing it first before you. Because uh, you know, on this, it, it always pops up on the second screen first, um, which is so ridiculously funny. Because um, then you will always be like, "Oh, why is he saying it won't work out? Oh, I misplaced it. The quiver. Okay, sorry. Uh, I wanted to put these ones here in the middle, but um, you know, I, I forgot. I just put it in zero zero. But nonetheless, you see the direction here." The first PCA action uh, axis is actually this one here, and the second one is um, along this axis. Okay, so nothing special. Uh, it has worked out. Um, just important to mention, it has worked out. <laughs> I'm very happy that it that it was right. Okay, so this is this is uh, how how it is working. Uh, very very simple stuff. And I think that's already everything. Like this is PCA. Um, now you can easily transform, like Ike S is also uh, Ike V is also the transformation matrix into the space, into this eigenvalue space here. So you can transform forward and backwards as you like. Uh, you can do in the eigenvalue space. You can uh, cancel out these columns here. Um, you can get out the correlations or something in between. Um, yeah, it's, it's just a very useful technique. I hope you liked it. If you liked the video, like it. If you don't like the video, don't like it. And if you like me, please like it too. And uh, likewise, I want to thank you for uh, the time. And uh, see you next time. And if you have a question or a mathematical problem, just write me. Uh, maybe I can make a brief tutorial uh, about the topic.